If you're a landlord in New York, you got to pay attention to today's show. Uh, it's already been very hard for you uh, to do your job, right? Being a landlord in New York with how woke it is and just landlord-tenant laws getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Things have already been really bad for you. Uh, it just got worse. The time it takes to evict a tenant is now hitting about two years. Let's talk. All right, y'all. Wow. Being a landlord in New York, man. Woo, boy. And I'm not even talking about New York City. I am talking about the whole state. And uh, I got this article. I pulled it up from, like, this website with more ads than anyone has freaking ever seen in their life. How do I close some of these guys? No, Discover card. All right. Well, I don't know how to totally close the ads. But anywho. Uh, the eviction process in New York, it's brutal, man. It is brutal. Uh, for the longest time, uh, many of you guys know, being a landlord in New York, very difficult, very tough. Landlord-tenant laws, they're not on your side, right? The government is not your friend. You are public enemy number one to the government, okay? Up until now, the process of filing the eviction, going to court, Getting granted the writ of restitution and actually getting your tenant out has taken about a year, okay? It's taken about a year, and that's terrible. Like, that is literally horrible. Uh, where I invest, you're usually looking at about six weeks, right? Uh, from posting the notice to kicking those savages out, you're looking at about six weeks. And if you want to see them get evicted, uh, just let us know. Uh, or not... Ah! Fuck, what do I do now? You know what? I'm one take Jimmy. We're not even going to cut any of that. I I don't know why I, I don't even know why I said just let us know. I was going I should have said what I meant to say was just check out our tennis from hell show. We evict people all the time. Uh most people, most people would cut this portion of the video out, but not me and not Johnny back there. We ain't cutting nothing. So just rewind. What I meant to say was you could uh, watch the Tennis from Hell show, and uh, you'll see us actually evicting people. We do it all the time, but we mostly do it in red areas, places where it takes six weeks, okay? Now, New York, like a year. For those of you doing math at home, that's like 46 weeks longer. That's no good, okay? Uh, but you're going to wish, you are going to wish uh, – you still had uh, you still had it the year timeline. Imagine that. You wish it was still only a year, right? Check this out. The new attorney general, Latita James, has a section outlining new protection for evictions, according to the New York State website, right? And this is bad. This is the main key point, really. I'll link the whole article uh, to the the notes below, but. This is it right here, this little bullet point, these four lines. If you lose a housing case and the judge orders your eviction, you can ask the court for up to one year to move if you can show that you cannot find a similar apartment in the same neighborhood. The judge will take into account your health conditions, whether you have children enrolled in school, the hardship on the landlord if you remain, and other life circumstances that could affect your ability to move. Now, just so we're clear, it already takes like a year in some cases to get you evicted. Okay, already takes that long. Now, because of Latita James, after the landlord battles for a year to get you out of there, you could be like, hey, judge, I get that, uh, you know, I've been living in this guy's house without his permission for a year, and he spent thousands and thousands of dollars fighting the court system to get me to leave his premises. But I can't, man. I can't find another apartment, man. I can't find one. It's weird. All the landlords that I talk to that are renting other apartments, when they find out that I've been battling my current landlord for a year, they don't seem to want to rent to me and I can't find anything else. It's weird when you refuse to leave someone's property for over a year and drag them through the horrible liberal court system 
other landlords don't seem to want to sign up to allow you to abuse them in the same way. So it makes it hard for me uh, to get a new apartment, Judge. So I would like to stay in this poor bastard's house for another year. And then, you know, the blue judge is like, sold. That sounds like a great idea to me. That's where we're at in New York because of her, because of uh, uh, her new policies, man. It's brutal. So my advice is for y'all to get out, okay? Get out. Get out of the game in there. They don't want you, right? You got to read the temperature of the room, y'all. Places like New York, they do not want you to be able to make a living renting properties to tenants, okay? If you're trying to sell T-shirts and you think that selling blue T-shirts is the way to go, but every one of your customer comes up to you and he goes, hey, man, I like your shirt, but I don't like blue. Do you have it in gray? All of them trying to sell all these blue shirts if everyone's telling you man you got to make them in gray just make them in gray bro like stop trying to sell blue shirts when your customers want gray okay they don't want you guys in new york my advice to anybody is to get out of new york and start investing in red areas that's where i do all of my investing if you're curious to know uh, what that's like, how that works, you could go ahead and click the notes below, reach out to us, we'll let you know how that's going to go. See, I was I was planning on saying that at the end of this video the whole time. That's how I got confused, you know, that's how I fucked up that tenant thing, right? You know, I, was, I got my words all mixed up, right? A lot of people, they'd edit that out of the video, but again, not me, not Johnny, we don't fucking play like that. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.